Today I wanted to talk about using native modules with Electron. So you can't use regularly installed native modules with Electron directly. And I don't want to get into why that is, but um, just it uses a different runtime than Node. And so it requi requires differently compiled native libraries. Uh, a good example, or a good example of an error that you might get when you try to do this is something like this. Basically that um, some module that you're using or some module that you're importing cannot be found and you might be thinking oh well SQLite 3 I just installed that how come node or electron is not able to find it so let's go look into that um, in this specific case I'm using the Knex query builder and I'm using the SQLite 3 um, uh, database driver for it so I can access SQLite 3 databases uh, let me check my package JSON um, it shows up here so it does exist. Uh, let's check node modules. And yeah, SQLite does exist and it has all kinds of things in it. And if we actually keep drilling down and look into the bindings, and let me clear the console, we'll notice that uh, the only binding available is for the system that you're currently on. And, um, and it's for node. So it's not for Electron, it's for node. Uh, so you have to actually rebuild these. Um, rebuild all of these um, native modules. And the easiest way to do that is by using what's called the Electron Builder uh, or Electron Rebuild. Let's go ahead and check it out. I installed it here. Uh, yeah, Electron Builder. So just go ahead and do a, an npm install Electron Builder, save dev. And it should not really do much of anything. And while that's, you know, while Node is verifying that yes, it is installed, You'll notice that actually if you Google or if you search for whatever library in Electron, you might notice that some there are some old packages that have pre-built um, bindings for Electron there. And you'll see a lot of like Stack Overflow, opened questions, open issues. Um, and it took a little bit of digging to get to this Stack Overflow question. And I wanted to address this question directly because this is where I got my answer and I kind of wanted to show you the source. And it's this over here. So you can go ahead and save the Electron Builder. Um, then you would save whatever native uh, dependency you have, which I already have it saved. And then you run a post install script, which uses the um, install app dependencies um, command. And that resolves to Electron Builder's, um, uh, I guess, in my case, batch script or. Um, or I guess it'd be a shell script if you're not on a Windows machine. So let's go ahead and have that here. I added the post install to run that. Um, if we just did a blind npm install, it should rebuild it. I wanna just rerun this one specific command. So I'm gonna do npm run post install. No, okay, so it tells us that I guess something changed. That's fine, we'll go, to, I'll go ahead and change that. And then it says rebuilding native production dependencies for platform. This is the platform that we're currently in. And it's going to rebuild it for Electron. Let me go ahead and change this command while I'm here because I would like to use the correct one. So Electron Builder install app dependencies rebuilding it, rebuilding it. Probably the longest part of my video is just gonna be this stuff rebuilding. Uh, on the bottom left, you can see here that, well, if you have a good enough resolution, you can see that it said uh, MS build. Uh, so it's using some uh, building, um, uh, native building libraries or whatever. Um, and now let's run the PM start and sh everything should actually start up correctly. There we go, listening to messages, bootstrapping, my application is running. I definitely have way too much log, way too many logs going on, but um, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, so just to summarize it, I will add the Stack Overflow question on the bottom here, um, so you can see that it's just adding this post install and uh, doing a installing the Electron Builder and running the post install later on. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you all have fun with Electron and with using native modules with it.